Hello again, I'm John Terzak, and in this lesson, I'm going to answer the question for you, which is how to make roasted red pepper coulis. And coulis, again, of course, is the texture that falls between sauce consistency and puree, like mashed potatoes, and as I uh, like to refer to it as the texture of baby food. This is a sauce supplement kind of item, or something you use in replace of, or in addition to sauce on varieties of different things. So let's get right to, I have two cups of roasted red peppers and I have some smoked paprika and I have six roasted large shallots that I roasted with salt, pepper, butter, it's a little bit of dried leaf thyme and water. There's, so this is a vegetarian item and you could use roasted shallots with meat if you don't care about that either way. So let's put the peppers in the saucepan. Let's put the shallots in the saucepan. Let's put one and a half teaspoons of the smoked paprika into the saucepan. A little bit of black pepper. And we'll throw a pinch of salt in there just for fun. We may finish this coulis with a little bit of butter and cream, but we'll Probably, sh I will, I'll probably show you it finished with, with the butter and cream and without. So let's get this on the stove and we will fast forward this to about 10 minutes from now when that's really hot. And then we'll puree it and get it on a plate for you. Okay, the roasted peppers are all hot. It's been about 10 minutes. Not really cooking anything here anyway because it's already cooked. Now, just to be on the safe side because I want to make sure that I can... Uh, control the final texture of this dish. I'm going to take some of the juice out and we'll add it to it to adjust the texture as needed just to be safe, okay? So we're going to take our immersion stick here and start doing carefully doing some zapping here. I'm doing it right in the saucepan because I'm trying to not dirty as much stuff that I have to wash, which is what I would normally do. I think in this case, I need a slightly taller container. which I definitely have plenty of. Let's pour this into this. And let's finish giving this. Now I can get some better turbulence in this. That liquid that was in that saucepan was the liquid that came in the can of the peppers that I bought. Because I bought canned peppers for this today, which is fine. Especially for something like this. One that you're going to add your own series of other flavors to. And this one does not, it's a good thing I took that liquid out because this does not need any more liquid in it just to qualify as for the as the texture that I'm looking for here so let's just have a taste of this first this is the smoked paprika shallot combo wow that's really good already and there's not that much to it but I'm gonna put another half a teaspoon of the smoked paprika in it I'm gonna put a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. I'm going to give that another zap. Mm -hmm. 
Wait a minute, I see something in there that needs to be pureed. This definitely looks like baby food to me. Well, that's for grown-up babies, of course, you know. Okay, let's give that a final taste. That's good just the way it is. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of the, what I call plain now, To run that down like that. And let's take some of this a little bit smoky to shell it, give it a little bit of depth. Can you put herbs in here? Can you put roast garlic in here? Absolutely. Now let's take a little bit of this and finish it with a couple little oh tablespoon of butter. I have about a cup of the coulis here. And just for fun, we just put like a very really small splash of cream in there. This is because I added the butter to cream, butter and the cream. It's now a little bit less coolish, like the other one, if that's the right word. And well, it's still like a baby foodish, a little bit thinner than this one here, but there you have it. There's a good, simple formula for roasted red pepper coulis, that which I will use on who knows what. But I think my plan for this one is to use it on some potato dumplings, which we're going to make in another lesson. So there it is, roasted red pepper coulis.